So we covered how to lead, um, how to lead yourself, how to lead others, how to lead regardless of what rank you have on your collar, right? Because we know that leadership is an action. It is not a position. That is Senior Instructor Kavika Lau from the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center. He, along with Sergeant Justin Witt with the Louisville Metro Police Department, are on island providing critical leadership training. The three-day training was offered to over 50 command staff and civilian personnel with the Guam Police Department. And it doesn't matter where you're at in law enforcement, you know, dealing with the community, being a part of the community, um, it is inevitable, unfortunately, in this profession. And definitely it showed with the police officers from Guam that there's going to be a tragedy that happens on the island. And through learning leadership principles and applying those principles, that hopefully they're able to take care of this community, they're able to take care of each other, and they're able to take some of the things that they've learned here and put them into practice. As KUAM reported, a retention and recruitment study was conducted by University of Guam master's students at the request of the GPD chief. A portion of the survey focused on leadership. According to Lau, the study was discussed on the first day. I read the report. I said, we're going to talk about something that may cut close to the bone. And we talked about the report, but we focused on what is within your power to control or influence to mitigate what came out in this report. And what was encouraging to me is who do we have in the room? We had the chief of police in the room going through the same exact training along with all of his commanders. In the study, it noted 40% of officers believed they were not valued by leadership. People perceive that, hey, like, I'm not being valued. It's a relationship. And everybody within that relationship does have a responsibility to strengthen that connective tissue. Training wrapped up Friday afternoon, and they wanted to end with a message to the island community. If you see a police officer that, that is a part of your community, stop them, shake their hand, say thank you. Everybody that you know in your life, you expect to be willing to give, that they will give their last full measure, their life, to defend somebody that they know and love. But everybody wearing that uniform, they know that at, at some time, they will be expected to be willing to risk their life, not only for strangers, not only for people that won't thank them, but honestly, for people who might not even like them. Jonagan Charfris, KUM News.